Welcome back guys. So today I got a series of new videos for you concerning the Neo Geo Mini. So in this series we're going to be pitting the Mini up against various other ways to play Neo Geo games. We'll be looking at graphics, sound, talking about perceived input lag, and giving my overall feelings concerning the outcome. Ultimately, I just want to evaluate what is the best way to play Neo Geo games for every type of player out there. So we will be having the Mini go up against such contenders as the Nintendo Switch ACA Neo Geo titles, the Nintendo Wii, Retro Pie, and perhaps a few others if you guys are interested. Just let me know. Dreamcade maybe? Today we're going to get the most unfair contender out of the way first. An original Neo Geo AES console. This is unfair as obviously any other way we try to play Neo Geo games is simply trying to emulate what this system gave us. Sure, some ways to play may have more options concerning visuals and other elements, but we wouldn't be looking to those things if this system and its games didn't exist first. But before we begin, to keep the competition fair, let me explain the methods of recording. So I'm using an Elgato HD60S for capturing the footage. The Neo Geo Mini is outputting at 720p with unmodified audio set at the same exact output level as the contender. Also, visual optimization is set to off, which is just a smoothing effect. The Neo Geo AES is being captured using the RetroTINK 2X, set at 2X mode with no filters using HD RetroVision component cables. The AES is outputting at 480p. I decided to use the RetroTINK instead of the OSSC in order to, uh, to attempt to keep the competition fair. You could say, well, why not use the pass-through mode instead of 2X mode? Well, because I can't record using pass-through mode with the Neo Geo. That's why. But still, 480p versus 720p, just wait until you see the results. So we will have both outputting side by side for most of this video with whosoever's audio is being played clearly marked. We will transition between the two for a couple minutes, then end with single gameplay for each system with my final thoughts. Today we will be using Samurai Showdown 5 Special for this video. Each episode after this, we'll be using a different game. Now, for the no one in attendance and the thousands watching around the world on YouTube, ladies and gentlemen, from somewhere in Southern California, USA, let's get ready to compare. Spirit. Zero. Spirit. 
Okay guys, so what do you think? Now I know YouTube can do some odd things with gameplay footage, but from seeing all this live, re-watching the playback multiple times, I do have some thoughts. Now obviously I did state this would be unfair to have the AES challenge the mini, but we needed to get this out of the way before the mini fights other more comparable solutions. But wow! Even with the AES outputting at 480p, it looked amazing compared to the Mini 720p output. The visuals were a lot more crisp on the AES. The Mini, things were more blurry and washed out to a degree. Audio? Now I've listened to isolated audio using my headset for quite a bit. My final thoughts on the audio is that the output levels are definitely different. The AES comes through louder than the Mini, both set to the same output levels. For me though, despite that, it was fairly close on that end. I barely noticed any difference other than that, just the output levels. Now as far as perceivable lag or issues with control in game, the advantage definitely goes to the AES. I do have several official controllers and a two player stick that I've made for it, whereas the Mini I only have access to the built in controller for now. The Mini does take a little time getting used to to use the built-in controls, but ultimately where the point would be awarded to is if I notice any lag between the two systems. The AES does win slightly on this category for me. Even though you may notice input lag on any system while using an HDTV like I did for this video, but the Mini, I do notice just a slight more lag. Though, it's not a huge issue. So obviously the AES is the clear winner against anything that is trying to imitate it or its brother the MVS. At least that's my take on it. But there's still plenty of other awesome ways to play some of our favorite Neo Geo games and we will be pitting them up against the Mini and finding out who or what is the best alternative to an actual legit Neo Geo system. So thanks for watching, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think or what you'd like to see me do in the next episode of Neo Geo Mini Versus. And hey, if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Also, to make sure you're notified every time I put a new video up, click on that notification bell. Set your preference. Really do appreciate it. Have a good one, and I will catch you guys next time. Boom!